I thought I already saw something interesting. Today I'm going to explore the temple that has been demolished at Tanjong Tajam, a place that I've been before. But uh, back then I didn't know about the history about this old shrine or temple if you may put it. Sorry guys, I thought I already saw something interesting. Something that I didn't see earlier on. Shrine or something on top of that uh, rock there. Can you see that? Let's take a closer look. This is apparently some of the iron plate that they used in the past and these are the rooftop This apparently have fallen down after so many years or oh, maybe when they demolished they didn't able to clean up Oh my god Right, you look at this rock Seems like appear out of nowhere and just drop right in between these two big ones and then drop on top of the roof I should have bring an incense here Come on, man. Oh. The plant has outgrown, sort of cover half the face of the guanyin. So, please let me know what you think. If I clear the plant so that the guanyin space can be revealed again, I'll definitely come back here again next week to offer my prayers. Can't see me, but I'm shivering right now. Alright, I don't know what to say, man. I just uh, feel so emotional after seeing that the icons are still here. Totally unexpected. I thought I would just be able to see some of these uh, remnants, namely all these woods and uh, bricks. But I, I didn't expect that I would be able to see all this. See, I'm out of words now. <laughs> words cannot express my feelings now. The rock there behind the sun, and then you see there's a rock there in between the two big rock, smaller rock there, and then you see all these angles sloping down here. It's just so amazing that they're able to build a shrine out of this uh, unusual location, I would say. And then you have this rock here out of nowhere, which seems to be unsupported. All right, and then you have that Guanyin idol right on top of that. So beautiful. See the wild ball. Oh my goodness, there's a wild ball there. Okay, so right now you can see this is the Tanjong Tajam sign. And then you can see this uh, pagoda like thing. Actually, this is a ghost paper furnace or a burner. I guess when people went inside to pray and after that they will come here and, and burn the offering. Previously, I think they built the jetty here around that level to make sure that you know they are able to reach here at the highest height. So when people walk in from there, around that level, they probably will reach here. And this Guan Yin idol, the altar is slightly elevated. You see that line here? And also the line here? I suspect that's the material, maybe that's the roof level. You see that, that remnants of the roof there? The bowl for the incense. And then you see, we can actually can come from the other direction. Uh, yeah. Just by chance know about this place through Urban Explorer of Singapore. So this is a special thanks to Urban Explorer of Singapore, especially Azi and uh, his team, including Samuel. So 
What you see behind me now is uh, probably icon that have long been forgotten. It's amazing to see all those plants that appears that is grown on the rocks. Right, it's absolutely amazing. And all these structures used to be part of the platform. Hey, hi! Come on here, still got sunlight! Samuel is finally here. Amazing discovery. I still have some left over. I'm gonna put it here so that if you all are interested, you can uh, come here and pray. Alright, just need to bring your own lighter. Sorry guys, okay? It has been an amazing journey for me so far. If not because of YouTube, I don't think I'll dare to explore these kind of places. As of now, I have 3,226 subscribers, thanks to all of you guys. During last year, my subscriber count was around 200. <laughs> So it has been more than tenfold. So I'm very happy that all of you guys supporting me. I decided to do a giveaway to thank for your support. Small gift, uh, it's not a big ticket item because obviously my YouTube is not making enough money to afford all these uh, like giveaway cameras or high value item like that. Right, so just a token of appreciation. So one of the products I'll be giving away, in fact two, are sponsored by Glider Sports Japan, which is the neck mount, the one that I showed you all in the last video as well as a suction cup. Okay, the guy at uh, Glider Sport told me that I can use it on my support. You know, QP board is not suitable to put on the suction cup because as you see, it's made by a PVC material and it's not an even surface. So I've tried putting on certain suction cup on my board before. It just doesn't stick. But uh, Glider Sports promised me that this thing will work on my support. I think it will also work on any flat surface. For example, your car, your mirror, so that you can just put it anywhere, you, you stick there and then you are able to film at a very interesting angle. I also have uh, another item to give away. This is an item I bought from Starbucks Malaysia. It's a passport holder. I'm not sure what's the value. I can't really remember. So I'll just put it there. I don't know, maybe $20 thing, right? Really, I think, I hope you all don't mind the value because the idea really is just to, uh, you know, a token of appreciation. It's a small value item. Right. Okay, another product we sponsored by Luca Cam. I'm not sure whether you have seen my earlier video titled This is not your ordinary camera shop. Right? Thanks to Kelvin. He'll sponsor us one product, but I'm not sure which one because he hasn't told me yet. I was thinking probably the three-way tripod or the massage gun. I also be giving away my DJI Osmo Mobile. That was the latest product two years ago. I bought it when it was launched. But uh, I actually only use it to make one film. After that, I just chucked it one side. The reason why I didn't use it is because I upgraded to a camera. I use uh, GoPro most of the time. This product is very good for beginner. If you want to learn filming, your footage needs to be stabilized, right? So gimbal is a very good stabilization. You just put your mobile phone to the gimbal and then do a simple setup. Then you are able to film uh, with confidence because the, uh, the footage will be very smooth. All you need to do to participate in this giveaway is to leave a simple comment Tell me how you found out about this channel. That was the first video of mine that you have watched. Right? As simple as that. I will announce the winner maybe during my next video, right? Or probably earlier. See you.